What's up guys? Figured I'd come out here today and uh, do, I guess a before trip, walk over, run through of what's on the bike, what's in my pack and I guess a gear dump of sorts. I've had at least a dozen of y'all ask me what's in the bag, what's on the bike, what am I taking, am I nuts, whatever else. So I figured I'd show you what I've got. I um, wanted to start out by saying thank you for uh, all the positive feedback on this trip. I uh, really wasn't expecting anybody to give a damn, quite frankly. Um, thank you, too, to all of y'all who have said that me getting my fat butt on a bike has inspired you to get on a bike or get out and run or whatever. Wasn't expecting that either, and uh, it makes me feel good to know that me doing something about myself is inspiring other people to do something about themselves. So, thank you. So, let me cut away real quick, come back, and we'll do a once around of the bike, and then I'll do a gear dump. Okay. So here's the bike. It's just an old 90s specialized rock hopper. I've been uh, about 400 miles in this bike in the past three or four months. Total, not all at once. Um, bought it for 25 bucks off of Craigslist. Two flats, dry rotted tires. Um, handlebars were shot, the grips were all nasty. Uh, neither brake set worked so I've replaced the grips fixed the handlebars replaced all the tires replaced the seat because it was starting to get dry rotted and uh, it's serving me well for 25 bucks um, I guess I'll start at the front so I've got adjustable phone mount using the phone for maps and GPS um, not real impressed with this thing, but so far it's still holding up. Uh, headlight. I ditched a little crappy Bell 20 lumen headlamp that I did have on my handlebars that didn't light up anything. And picked up a Olight S10 baton, CR123. I've got it mounted on a... Uh, it's like gear to fish or here to fish or something like that that doesn't have anything to do with bikes but especially made for bikes which didn't really make any sense to me but whatever it's a uh, double velcro rubber all right as i was saying it's a double mount with velcro top and bottom specifically made to mount a flashlight to the handlebars of a bike um I took the bottle kit off of my EDC bag, took some eighth inch shot cord so that it would not flop around, and used the towels webbing to attach it to my handlebars. So in it is my 40 ounce clean canteen. Pathfinder mug and lid. So that's like 80% of my cook kit. Um, next up, that bag came from Hill People Gear, as you can see. Um, it was $20 plus shipping, which I could not believe. It's all handmade. I believe they're in Colorado. I don't know if y'all can. These are the actual grease pin marks where they hand laid everything out. There's some up here. I think that's awesome. The uh, zippers and all of these buckles are all aluminum. Nice big YKK zipper. Um, in this bag, I've got two 26-inch bike tubes, a Leatherman rebar, a bike multi-tool, tire levers, and my lock key, bike locks right there, and a Topeak Mini 
bike pump that's supposedly rated for 90 PSI. I doubt my arms will ever get it to 90 PSI. It's only like a 12 inch long pump. Um, and I've got about four foot of Gorilla Tape, one inch wide Gorilla Tape wrapped around the uh, bike pump. Um, I saw this on one of the bike websites. Uh, they said instead of keeping all of your energy boost and cliff bars and whatnot in your bag or in a bag, throw it in a peanut butter jar and put it in your bottle mount. I'm not carrying water in my bottle mount. I'm carrying water in a 100 liter camelback bladder. So I figured why not? Makes sense to me. Um, I just picked up the rack off of Amazon a couple weeks ago. It's uh, all aluminum. I believe it's made by Topeak also, or Topeak, I don't know how you say that word. Um, so far it seems to be pretty stout. And in it, I've got a, or on it, I guess I should say, compression stuff sack from Tactical Tailor. Could have bought a Sea to Summit, but they only come in neon, and I would rather have camo. So, this bag, I'm not going to undo it because I don't feel like fighting everything back into it. Um, thousand denier ends. Uh, the middle actual compression sack is all done out of ripstop nylon with pretty thick nylon webbing on four sides. This bag weighs 14 pounds, just under 14 pounds. In it, I've got a 10 by 10 Bushcraft USA tarp. I've got my JB's Outdoor Lieutenant hammock, also in multicam because hey, everything's got a match. I've got a windbreaker that's fleece line because it's supposed to get into the 50s on Saturday night. I've got a, I've got two shirts. Two pair of underwear, two pair of socks, and what else? Tree straps, about 200 foot of bank line, and all of my food is in here. So all of the food is in a Billy Pot bag from Malcolm, the Hidden Woodsman. I threw in... Friday night dinner, Saturday night dinner, breakfast both days, and then a bunch of cashews and jerky and stuff like that. It's all in here. And I think that's everything that I've got in this bag. So this is basically my shelter and food for two and a half days. And it's staying on the back of the bike until I get to Stephen F. Austin, which is right at 44 miles. I'm trying to think if there's anything else in this. I think that's it. Everything else I've got is going in Camelback Mule that I got from Mike Travis. There's a lot of y'all going with me on this trip, whether y'all know it or not. It's uh, Pretty cool. So, Camelback Mule, start with the outside. Um, my son loves these things. I think they're stupid. However, the life gear will run for like a hundred hours on the little watch batteries and it's red and it flashes. So on top of the two flashing strobes on the back of the bike, this will be on my back and I don't really plan on riding at night unless I absolutely have to. I've got my Levin Solster in a Kydex sleeve that I made. It's cryptic, it's not multicam. Shh, don't tell my wife, it doesn't match. Um, oh. Speaking of not matching, my old iPod Shuffle. It's like an 8 gig from probably the same time period as the bike. <laughs> uh, I'm using this for books and music there and on the way 
using this because it'll run forever off of the battery on one charge and I don't have to worry about running my phone down any more than I have to. Um, in the top, I've got earbuds, wired, again, saving battery life, deodorant, uh, some kind of energy bar, wet wipes, cut down toothbrush, toothpaste, Advil, like 20 of them, riding 44 miles, weigh 260 pounds, charger for the iPod in case I need it, mini first aid kit, it's the only first aid kit I'm bringing, it's a uh, Imodium, some fingertip bandages, uh, one thing of burn cream, uh, antiseptic wipes, and I think some antibiotic cream, and that's about it. If I hurt myself worse than this, then I'm making a phone call and catching a ride home. Alright, so the bulk of the weight by the way this pack with 100 liters of water in it weighs nine pounds I pared it down as much as I was willing to because the longer I ride the more my lower back hurts the more my lower back hurts the less likely I am to finish this thing so this is about this isn't as minimal as I could go but this is about as minimal as I want to go so tent stakes two of them aluminum I'm flying the tarp in a diamond configuration, so I only need two. Sponge. MSR pocket rocket. Uh, pot holder. Titanium spork. MSR stand. I'm using the small stand. By the way, that's the other thing that's in there. There is a bowl, a stainless steel MSR bowl. And my MSR fuel canister is in that compression sack. I'm using the small one, so I brought this just in case. Um, Ridgeline for the tarp with a Night Eyes figure nine on it. Much easier to control and alter than a trucker's hitch on the fly. Uh, bug screen, mini BIC. Ferro rod, just in case for some reason in 80 degree weather, the mini big that's brand new doesn't work. I don't know. Um, glow tube, I'm using this as a lantern, hanging it from the ridge line of my tarp. We'll get back to those in a second. My eight year old stretched out, needs to be replaced, Petzl. needs to be cleaned up because I let the scouts use it and it's covered in cedar pitch but JR's Necker 1095 badass knife it's like 70 bucks well worth it go pick one up love this thing it's cutting tool number one Cutting tool number two, because you know, two is one, one is none, and blah blah blah, is just my EDC folder. This will actually be in my pocket on the bike because I'm paranoid that way. And we're gonna try this. So, I'm sleeping in the hammock, I'm not taking a bug net. I picked up one of these off thermocell things with a clip on it. I'm going to try hanging this from my ridge line. Two refills because each refill is good for 12 hours. So we'll see. I've not read of anybody doing this but I'm sure I'm not the first one to think of it. These things are supposedly really great as long as you're sitting still and they suck if you're moving. So I figured a hammock ridge line, perfect place to try it out. 
So that's it, guys. Uh, everything else is stay at home. Um, if it rains, it rains. It's not supposed to. If it doesn't, more the better. I leave at noon Friday. I'm riding there. It's supposed to take about four hours and setting up camp. And I'm coming home Sunday morning. So I'll be checking in from here and there along the way. Um, Steve Sanford and Joe Mobley both told me I need to update them as the case goes on. So thanks for checking in.